Welcome back to your Caribou Data Science Channel. This is the uh, Thursday evening, February 18th, 2021. And I'll say again, this is your Caribou Data Science Channel. I'm here to help you understand the world that we live in through, through basic data analysis in our programming, okay? So anyway, welcome back again to the Caribou Data Science Channel. This, this, this video will be up on, on, up on YouTube. There will also be a link to it on my Gemini, on my Gemini Capsule website. What's Gemini? Gemini is a, is a text-based web server. This is Gemini. Okay, this is Gemini. All right. You got three levels. You got three levels of uh, of headings: one, two, and three. Simple. Uh, what is? Okay, what's this called? Simple. A simple. Uh, a simple. Uh, a little period thing right there. I can't think of a, a link to the a link to the video for this for the code for the code that follows. A link to the web browser I'm using here, and a link to my uh, Caribou Data Science channels capsule. Okay. Here's the code. Here's a link to three plots, and here's a link to the code and the, and the software you need to run the spot yourself. Let's just take a look over here at what this what the code actually looks like. Okay, this is it. This is it. Okay, there's not a lot there. Again, this this is really intended for for text-based documents. Now, if you're like me, you're not really good at writing, what well, you're going to do? You can do something simpler and just this me excuse me code example again. You can see the uh, the one, two, three levels of heading. Two, two. Uh, notice the. The three back ticks. Okay. That means it's a pre-formatted text. That's that's where we get this nice code here. This is where we see the code. All right. And a couple of plots. And here's a link to the plot. You see the all they're all linked to GitHub. Here's some references. Uh, R code and data. Link to the uh, the code you need to install to run the program. But that's it. That's it. Text with three levels of headings and a, and a uh, te and 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 external links and then back ticks for pre-formatted text. Okay, so that's all there is. Okay, now we got that set up. But we're gonna come back today. Now we're gonna take a look. We're gonna add a couple more plots, or at least one or two more plots. I shouldn't say a couple. One or two more plots. For our video, so we uh, 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 right now. Well, let's just take a look here and see exactly what the plots look like right now. Okay. Okay. This is the U.S. consumption. This is the fruit consumption by year, by person, by kilo in kilograms for the U.S. It's from 1960 to 2017. You notice there's been a, since about the 90s, there's been a decline in fruit consumption. Okay, this is the top five countries based on their based on their on their per capita consumption for 2016. Okay, so you can see here, Dominica uh, consumed almost 400 kilograms of fruit in uh, per person in uh, in 2016. So these are the top five countries. These are the countries we're going to be plotting and taking a look at now, okay? Let's come back over here now. Oops. Did I miss one down here? Oh, I know what it is. I don't want to actually want to do that. All right. So now let's run these down here. Okay, now here's the now here's the top five countries on a single plot. Now the problem with this, of course, is um, they're kind of on top of each other. So it's really kind of hard to tell what's really going on. Okay, but what we can do, we can simply what's this plot down here? Plot of so what is this one down here then? I okay, that's just yes, United States. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to come back up here. We're going to recreate this plot 
we'll use a function. We're going to use a function called uh, facet wrap to split it out by country. Okay. Facet wrap, and we're going to wrap it by country. So let's see what happens here now. Okay, so now you can see we got split up by country. But let's try one more thing here. Let's come back in here, see if we can do this. We're going to try to free up the y-axis so it'll be adjusted for each for each for, di for the different countries here. Okay. Oh, free y. Let's try this now. Okay, good. So now you can see this goes above five. Dominica's consumption per year goes above uh, goes above 400. But the Dominican Republic only goes to 300. Rwanda goes to over over 500. About 500 here. Uh, Samoa only goes up to about 300. So what you can see here is that you've uh, You got the five countries split out. You got the five products split out by country. Now let's do this. Let's do let's do this by year. Country five. What's country five look like? Suppose we say we come back over here and do this one more thing down here. We're going to take this 2006, that would be 16 plots, wouldn't it? The idea is we want to uh, country five, want to do a filter. And we're going to say year greater than or equal than 202 16. Let's say, uh, let's say 2010. We don't want to go crazy. This is this is really just for for demonstration purposes. Okay. Greater or equal to 2010, right? So then we're going to do a plot. All right, so what we want to do is equals all right. Roots Asset wrap. Now we want to do it by year. Not quite sure how well this is going to work out, by the way. May not work at all. Oh, exactly. Okay. So now let's do this. Let's do a coordinate flip.
Let's zoom in on this now. Okay, so now we can do a comparison by country and year. All right, so let's do this now. Let's do one more thing here. Uh, let's, can we do this in here? Let's try this again. Oops, that's the wrong one. But you know what? Let's bring this faster app down here. Now let's zoom in. Okay, so that didn't exactly work quite, did it? Very close. Well, we can't really do that, can we? Let's do this. Let's just do it to see what happens, shall we? So let's come over here. I don't know if that'll work simply because it's uh S comma Y equals F R. Let's do this then. I don't know if that actually worked, but we'll see what happens here. No, it didn't, it didn't work with this, I don't think. Okay, that's fine. And we're gonna come back up here. And let's do two columns. So let's send three columns. We're going to have two columns go across, okay? What's wrong here? There. All right. Okay, so now we come back over here, all right, uh, what have we do with free X? Now, the thing I want you to notice how, how really simple uh, ggplot is.
No, I don't think we really need that. Looked pretty good before. Okay. Let's do one more. Now we zoom in. And now we get an idea of exactly what what the data what the what the consumption looks like, okay? Not bad. Okay. Okay, so now you can see where we're at here. We got, uh, we plotted six years, 2010 to 2016, or 2017, I'm sorry. And we plotted it by year and country. So this now gives us an idea of who, who's really leading in, in this uh as you can see, the uh, Dominica is still the largest consumer. All right. I don't think you could because it's going to be different for every single one. Maybe if you did a free X and a cons. So this this gives us an idea of uh, by year of the per capita. Consum fruit consumption for these for these top five countries by year. Okay, so we got we got two plots now. Let's just take a look here. See exactly what we got on here. Let's run this one again. And this just gives us another look at basically the same data, country by year, okay? Dominica continues to increase in fruit production. Uh, 500, 500. What happens if we put a... Eh, what happens if we put a smooth function down here? Let's try this. What I want to add, I just want to add a uh, 
maybe just a linear regression line. I bet it's going to be a year in it. Let's try this. So this gives us our low edge function here. Let's do this. Okay, so this, this just gives our, our linear regression line. You can see, interestingly enough, the only the only country that has increased overall, the only country that has increased overall is Dominica. Well, that's not true. That's that's not true. Sal Tome and Principo has increased. Okay. This is kind of strange, but obviously, this, you know, the Dominican Republic increased back over here. So, those look, that's, that's a fairly helpful plot in it. So, now we got, we had two more plots. Okay, just as a reminder, we added this one here, which is uh, for capita. Per capita uh, consumption of, of fruit overall by year and by by country and by year. Now we come back down here to the second one. And now we see the same information a different way. All, the, all this time it's split up by year with country on the y-axis, okay? So to, so in what in in four lines of code, but two by adding two simple little plots here. Okay, by adding by adding two simple little plots, we now we've now created two more two more ways to look at uh, at the data by country and by country. Uh, so this is quite good. Um, in part, what I'm doing here, also, I, I'm building a report template, okay? Because all we got to do is say, let's, let's say we wanted to do the, the bottom five. All we'd have to do is come back up here. And change this to a negative five, and then we can run a report, and we can get the bottom five countries, okay? Before we leave, let's just go ahead and take another look at, uh, take a look at the U.S. here. Not a particularly good picture, is it? <laughs> Unfortunately, we can see our, our our fruit consumption per capita is uh, is uh, is declining. <laughs> All right. So that's going to be it for this session. I know it's I know it's I know it's a fairly short session, but one thing we do need to do, of course, is to uh, save our, our, our two plots, okay? That's fine, that's...
and save this plot here. Okay, so let's come back up here, copy them two plots down to our directory. Of course, maybe they're there already. Okay, so we're going to come over here, right, get, There we go. All right. As long as it's been here, 28 minutes, so that's long enough. <laughs> 